Paolo Reto ended her drought in her 157th career LPGA start. Reto, who fired a course record 62 on Thursday, only won her first pro title in February on the Sunshine Tour in her homeland. Third-ranked American Nelly Korda, who would have taken the number one spot with a victory, also shot 67 to share second with South Korea's Choi Hai Jin on 266. Yeah, you sort of have to be careful. You know, you try to make as many uh, fairways if you can, and then the greens, because obviously, like, like I say, the the rough is pretty thick here. So if I can just manage those well and have the putts drop, you know, be patient with that, I think it'll be okay. New Zealand's Lydia Ko closed with four consecutive birdies to shoot 63 and finish fourth on 267 with South Korea's Ann Na Rin, fifth on 268. Clinging to a one-stroke lead, Reto went over the green at a par 3, 17th, but then chipped the ball inches from the cup and tapped in for par to stay in front, heading into par 5 on the 18th. Those um, times when you go low like that, it's just the putts drop and everything you see goes in. So sometimes uh, trying to think that is, is good, but you know I need to stay patient. It's not, not all, all the putts drop. and um, So, yeah. Reto sent her approach right into the rough on the slope, then punched out 15th on the hole. South Africa's Paolo Reto captured the first title of her nine-year PGA career and the woman's fourth from South Africa to do so holding down the stretch to win the Canadian Women's Open by one stroke. Malana Sekan for Sweets TV Sports.